Hi, my name is Christoph and welcome to the Quixotry workshop. In today's video, I'm going to talk about something that I've discovered a while ago is this whole tin is filled with spark plugs. So my father, he owed several vehicles throughout his life um, and he serviced the cars himself. So in, in those days, in the 1960s, 70s and 80s, cars were not very complicated. Uh, they were very straightforward, um, no computers and, and in, integrate uh, electronics. It was straightforward, especially petrol cars. And um, yeah, that's why my dad never threw away the spark plugs, he kept them. I don't know why, but I want to do something with this. Um, and I'm, I'm very curious to see what what different types of spark plugs is in here what brands and what makes and it's almost like a little archaeology project where i'm going to dig down into this and see um here's one that um that i had it's a more modern one some of these in here that are quite old if you can see the difference between these two, um, it's interesting to, to see how, how different they are, but also how similar they are in a, in a sense. So you can see the threads bigger there, it's more, it's more stubby. This one doesn't have the ridges on the ceramic. So there's also a, a couple of other uses for a spark plug. Um, which I've never tried out, which I would like to try out. And one of them is if you if you break this ceramic, uh, it's it is a alumina oxide or something. It it's sintered in an oven very hard, and apparently you can cut glass with it. It's harder than glass. And also, you can use this um, to, to do friction drilling. Um, put it in a drill bit and drill through a piece of uh, steel tubing and it actually flanges and melts the tubing and flanges it out so that you can thread it. Um, yeah, there's different things and, and also we can make little characters with it. But for now, I just I want to share with you what is inside this, this big thing. And also, what is inside a spark plug. So I want to cut uh, open uh, one of these more modern ones and, and let's see. So firstly, uh, let's talk about what makes a spark plug to work. So this is an insulating uh, ceramic. And what happens is power gets put in on this side and on the body of the, of the engine. And then it's high voltage and when the power um, from the distributor gives a, a sharp pulse of power, a spark develops between those two points there and that ignites the fuel in the cylinder. There's nothing complicated about it. Um, the development of this was in the early stages of automotive industry 
and it didn't change much um, except for what uh, what is inside the spark plug the more modern spark plugs has got a um, resistor in to to cancel out the noise that you would hear on uh, e electronic noise on radios mm. but these um, they haven't changed much and you get different ones with with more uh, of these um, anodes and um, I remember when I was a child, my, my dad used to take his spark plugs out, clean them and take a, a little feeler gauge and, and he will adjust these, bend them down uh, to get the gap right. You can see the difference in how that point there eroded away. This one is still long. That one is almost completely eroded away so normally my my father used to to change these when he serviced the car regardless of the condition of the spark plugs you can see this one didn't work uh, much at all if you compare this one to a brand new one Not just apart from a little bit of dirt, there's not much uh, corroded there, eroded away. There's still lots of life in this one. So let's open one up and let's look inside. Let's see, uh, it's a little bit hot still, but I can touch it. Hmm. Ah, there's no resistor inside. It's just straight copper, straight through from the top to the bottom. And you can see the tip is another metal, tungsten. And yeah, it took about five minutes to cut through this. I cut very slowly. Didn't want to crack the ceramic. So the best way of, of opening these um, is to grind away that shoulder and then this part will just come out. Let's, see, let's do that. As you can see, I cut this uh, shoulder off. There's a seal. And this part should come out if I hit it from the, from the other side. So let's cut that also off. Now I'm going to hit it from this side. So 
So there you can see the complete ceramic insulator. And this is the, so they, when they manufacture it, they just insert it like this and they shrink that part around with a seal. So I've put some tape around this side and this is the part I'm going to use to friction drill a hole in order to tap it. So you can see it tapers, it goes bigger and bigger and I've got a piece of tubing here. I'm just going to pre-draw a small hole on the edge there. Look at that, it actually made quite a difference. It's a, a nice thick shoulder, a lot of material there to tap. Now let's tap this, it seems like it's perfect for an M10 bolt. There's at least three, three threads there, which otherwise you wouldn't be able to do that in a, I think this is a 1.6 millimeter wall thickness. And now there's almost three millimeters of material there to thread. As you can see, there's enough thread there to keep this, this long bolt stable. That's quite amazing. Hmm. That's a very neat trick. Okay, so last thing I want to check is cutting a piece of glass with, with this. This part here has got a sharp edge, which I'm gonna test on cutting glass with it. And if I have a piece of glass here, and I'm just gonna score it once with this and see. So it did make a scratch in the glass and let's see if, if the glass can be broken. Okay, so it can work if it's sharp. You can see uh, there where I scored it. it. It broke right there, but it went off the line. So it is possible. You just have to sharpen a point and have, I don't have a good grip on this. Um, I've seen other guys mount this into a, a wooden handle make a nice sharp point and you can make your own glass cutter. So let's try once more to cut some glass. Um, I've, I've cut this uh, spark plug at an angle and I sharpened the ceramic a little bit 
and let's see how that goes. Yeah, much better. So you can actually use a spark plug to cut glass. I'll probably find something to do with these spark plugs. And here's an example. That is a little dog. His name is Sparky. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe and hit that like button and maybe if you want to take a guess and how many spark plugs are on this table uh, you can maybe take a calculated guess if you look at the end of the video um, and leave your comments uh, and and see let's see who can get the closest to guess how many spark plugs um, my dad collected over the course of his life. Have a good uh, week and I'll see you next week. Cheers.